I don't know. I, I don't want to. No, it, it's all above board, so I don't think I, I am uh, going to compromise anything. But um, there's a. This. I don't know. It, it, in Mexico, it's possible to. For somebody's family, uh, somebody's on drugs. It's possible for somebody's family to put them in rehab against their will. Um, and I think the way the way it works is that the rehab center do a drug test. They they find the person, they test them. If they if they've got, I guess you know, drugs, they do a blood test. If they if they show that they've got some drug in their blood, they can be put in rehab against their will. But uh, I mean, this could be amphetamine, crystal meth, or cocaine, or I guess LSD, I don't know what else I can check for. Uh, opioids. It's not difficult to to dose someone with those things. So in I guess some extreme circumstances somebody could be locked up in a rehab center against their will. It can be arranged. You spike there, you spike something that they take, you spike some food, somebody comes along, gives them a blood test, puts them in the rehab center, and that's it. They're in a, it's, it's almost a, it's like a, a jail for, for drug addicts. And I think. Robert Edinger in in uh, in Cochabamba. He he um. Buenos tardes. He 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 or somebody at um, Novacentos. Cafe I used to hang out at. He once put some amphetamine in a cup of coffee because I had a really terrible night. I couldn't sleep, and it wasn't like uh, it wasn't like chewing coca. It was a paranoid. Um, it was horrible. And. make judgments of people face to face before you start processes like that. You, you've, you've got to have some level of trust beyond just technical tests and doing things by the book uh, because that that's always going to be open to abuse. You, Even a blood test, you don't know that it was actually the person's blood that was tested, that tested positive. You, you can, all of these things can be subverted. And it's no good to say, oh, so you, uh, who would do that? And nobody in their right mind would do that, so. Uh, but there are a lot of people that are not in their right mind, right? make up stories but uh, people will think I'm paranoid if I if I explain what I what I 
thought because I have to invent things to to explain the, the way people behave and do you really want me to carry on inventing things to explain your behavior? Helen, mum, dad, Graham, my family, do you really want me to carry on inventing things to explain your behavior? Because the shit that I'm having to invent is really fucking bad. I mean bad. Do you understand? So some of you need to talk to me for your sake. I've had enough of this fucking crap. <laughs>